All right, we're back here with this phenomenal artist. I guess that's what you call this guy, Woodrow Nash. How are you, sir? Very well, thank you. So, Woodrow, tell us what caused you to do this work and what was your motivation? Well, I would, I would say that the motivation uh -huh. is just the gift. You know, this is something that, uh, although I do have formal training, it's a natural ability. And I compare it to an athlete yes. uh, running fast. You know, either it's something that you can't be taught to do. You know, it's just this. It's God innate. given. Yeah, and that's the motivation. That's, this is just what I do. You know, what so, I'm doing, this, this whole imagery that you're looking at here is a body of work that I call African Nouveau. African Nouveau. Yeah. And I coined that phrase simply because I'm combining two influences, African heritage and uh, French Nouveau, 18th century French Nouveau. 18, okay. Now, I um, imagine you've been to the motherland, so where do you get this from? I mean, are these images of pictures? I mean, how no, do you... this is my imagination, actually. This is your imagination? Yeah, and I'm not targeting... You believe any, that? I'm not targeting any particular region or group. I see. It's in general. So, uh, the, the stylized tribal markings, the, again, you can see some of the African motifs and the jewelry. Look at the detail. Yeah, this is stuff that we make in, in the studio. So, how do you do this? I mean, I'm not an artist, and I'm sure you guys, when the folks want to know, do you think of the image first? Do you draw it out first? No, and no, then... no, the, the, actually the image reveals itself to me during the creative process. You know, I get the clay and I just start working. And you start it. molding. Yeah. That it, is incredible. Yeah. And you see the imagery in your mind, in the size and dimensions? No, not really. I, I have an idea that's vague, like protruding features, uh, cheekbones. Cheekbones, nose, you know, they, lips. Yeah, you know, those, those kinds of things. Punch, shoulders, yes. you know. And I, I just start working, you know, from that, you know, just from that perspective. And it, it, so, the work reveals itself. I mean, uh, Woodroff is, uh, it, it, he's renowned not only locally but nationally. So tell us who has some of your work. Any well, renowned folks locally or nationally? Uh, I would say a celebrity client list would include uh, Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. Uh, Ed Gordon. Ed Gordon. Uh, Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Uh, Smokey Robinson. Smokey Robinson, yes. Ed he loves Gordy. artwork. Mm -hmm. uh, Tina. Knowles and Beyonce. Beyonce knows and Tina knows. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, it's, a, it's a fairly long list. I got Erica that's, that's, Badu. Uh, well, Erica Badu. You know, they all have my work in their homes. So needless to say, you need to take a look at this artwork, and he's going to be here today and tomorrow. Price point wise, what does it start? Well, here you can buy anything that ranges from three hundred to three or four thousand. Okay. Yeah. And uh, your website? Uh, Woodrow Nash. www.woodrownash.com. So, check it out. I mean, very, and do you live locally? I'm in Ohio. Ohio? Yeah. Oh, this young man's in Ohio. <laughs> so, uh, and George uh, Frazier is in, uh, in the Cleveland area, yeah. right? Frazier. Correct? So, I'm sure you know George Net. Frazier, mm -hmm. Frazier Net. Yeah. So, uh, as you can see how uh, we have some really interesting people at this particular craft fair. Check out Woodruff uh, Nash. He's a phenomenal artist. And his work, I tell you, is very, very unique. And I'm sure you could use this in your home, in your mansion. Uh, his client list is phenomenal. Any parting words to your viewers? Well, we'll be here uh, this weekend and the following weekends up to the holiday. All right. Check him out.